So let's have that conversation about the MVP, go over all the players, and then scroll through some of the other players that are up for awards this year. Give us our take on just the players in there, and then our pick on who deserves to be the most valuable player of the 2024 regular season. Perfect. Let's go. So in the MVP, we have Josh Allen uh, with the Buffalo Bills, Lamar Jackson, Christian McCaffrey, Dak Prescott, and Brock Purdy. Um, any problems with the players in this list? If you could um, maybe remove someone and add someone in, who would it be? So this is, these are the names that have been in circulation for a majority of the time. I think that we're talking about value here. I think Dak Prescott, you could replace with CeeDee Lamb. That Cowboys team, CeeDee Lamb had one of the greatest runs of wide receivers of this past season, and I think he deserves a spot there. Um, you can throw in Tyreek Hill in the mix here. You can throw in maybe a defensive player. I know yeah. Miles Garrett was in the conversation for us for a while when he was Watt. really ripping it up, TJ Watt as well. Um, but if we're looking at just strictly quarterbacks, I think even though he didn't have as great of a season, you can still throw in someone like Patrick Mahomes. Look about how much he elevated his team. Yeah. Um, but as far as Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Christian McCaffrey, I have no issues with them guys here. If you want to put Dak Prescott in because of the numbers, fine. Brock Purdy, fine. But I think that it's really between – I would have picked between Lamar and Christian McCaffrey here. Yeah, I'd pick between Lamar and Christian McCaffrey here. Um, I would give it to McCaffrey just because of the numbers, and I think the value of him as a running back, he's definitely added another level to them. And then we're just giving it to a quarterback year in and year out. It's like there are other players that are more valuable. Like case in point, like with Dak Prescott, like no, he's not the most valuable player on their offense. If you replaced Dak Prescott with a similar quarterback, the thing that would matter – matter is if you have cd lamb or not on that team because cd lamb is the engine that makes that offense go it's hard in the nfl to be the best receiver on your team and not really have that many great receivers around you i know michael gallup is hyped a lot but he's not like a, oh we need to worry about michael gallup today and then brandon cooks he didn't get going till week 12 this year so i think like it's so hard to be that number one receiver on your team so i think he deserves to be there over deck and then when with Josh Allen, it's like, can you lose your team three games where you can point to that he's the reason why they lost and then still give him the MVP? It's like, I think that disqualifies you from the conversation if you can point to more than three games where he flat out just lost his team the game. So I would replace Josh Allen with TJ Watt because DJ Watt led the league in sacks again this year. He's led the league in sacks three years and you can't get to the playoffs if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers without TJ Watt on that team. That's the definition of valuable. So, and he wasn't losing his team games either. And that game they needed to win versus the Ravens, he had two sacks. Yeah, I think that that's fine there. I think that ultimately Lamar Jackson will win. But if we're talking about of those five guys, who's the most deserving? It's Christian McCaffrey. He had yeah. over 2,000 scrimmage yards. He is a focal point of that offense. And I think he really elevates that game for someone like Brock Purdy and for everyone else around him. Yeah. So of those five, I think it should be Christian McCaffrey, but it's going to be Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think this should be like most valuable player in the league, best stats in the league. And I think strength of schedule should be a factor. And I think if you look just on their strength of schedule, the odds that they're up against this season and where they ended up. You should put C.J. Stroud over Dak Prescott because he's the definition of valuable. Everyone who watches football is like, oh, he's clearly more talented than him. He had less talent around him. He was walking into a franchise that people called a dumpster fire. And then they made the playoffs and won a playoff game the first year against the Cleveland Browns, who mm -hmm. without him just kicked their ass in Houston. And then he came back. You insert him in the lineup and then suddenly they win in a blowout. Like, that's a coincidence.